Alright guys, welcome back. Um, I am going to start beating out the back of this car. Now this is something I have never done before, so it should be an adventure. I've tapped on it just a little bit because I did have a Porter Power that I was planning on using, but it's currently not working. So I was trying the whole uh, piece of wood and hammer method. Seems like it is working pretty well. I'll go ahead and show you my little bit of progress. So I just started tapping on it here and this actually came out pretty well. So obviously we got some more heavy duty work to do there. But um, as far as right here, so I'll set up the tripod, kind of give you a time lapse of me beating this thing out and see how close we can get it. So we are a little ways into it, as you saw with the time lapse, I was able to get most of this area right here um, out to where it's close. It definitely is not perfect yet. There is this big crease right here that I'm going to try to use um, with a body hammer and a piece of metal backing it and try to flatten this out. So I just stopped for now. I'm starting to work on this area found some bondo down in here I know there is a weld in here so all of this is bondo and I kind of went searching with a die grinder on an impulse but there's a line right here of weld on the inside so obviously it has been replaced so I'm not too worried about it I do want to put over fenders on it eventually I'm seeing how close I can get to it to see if I need to but as for now um, We'll just see how far we can get. It is looking good. It is moving. So I'm pretty happy with it so far. So I just finished beating out the rear quarter. It's going to be a short video for y'all because honestly there wasn't a lot to see other than me pounding on it from the outside. But um, I've been at it for a couple hours and I think I got it pretty close. Let me show you here. So there is a section of creases going from here down into this area. Which I was able to get this coming out again. Uh, which I was worried about trying to get this line here. But although it is protruding, which I'm going to try to hammer down later, it's actually really straight. So there is still some dents and stuff that I'm going to just fill in with body filler until we go and do full over fenders. But for now, down here, this isn't caved in anymore. So um, it looks really good. I mean, it's not perfect by any means. I wasn't looking for it to be perfect but it was uh, supposed to be just the best that it can. It's not focusing, there we go. And I accidentally pulled on the, uh, the cable that ran to the 
to the gas door and broke it off. So, which is kind of really annoying. So, I mean, I, the little plastic piece just sheared right off. I didn't know it was that brittle. Uh, here, it is touching. And this is the fiberglass that kind of blew up because this was folded up on the trunk. Just the corner. But I was able to get that as close as possible. So, I'm going to try to shift it over just a little bit. But, all in all, I think it's really good. So it was a lot of work just pounding that out and kind of got familiar of how to do it. And I went from trying different metal from different pieces of wood. I started out with wood. Then I got a punch. It's like a long square punch uh, to do around the body lines and the edges to try to get that to push back out. So all in all, it was pretty easy. Um, just took a lot of time, patience, and and bending over and hitting it a little, little, little and checking it, which you probably saw in the time lapse. So, uh, sorry this is such a short video, but this is one of the main tasks that I wanted to get done today. So I appreciate your time and thank you for watching.